Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Friday. This is third day of November today. It's cliche day. Okay. So that's, uh, well, I'm trying to think of a cliche. <laughs> I, think I usually cliche have a bunch either. of them. National Sandwich Day and National Housewives Day. I think that's rude that they put those <laughs> I think on the that's same day. Awesome. Isn't that horrible? Who did that? <laughs> Give someone a dollar today, day. Japanese Culture Day today, Smart Home Day, World Jellyfish Day, and National Accessory Day. All of those things happening on this Friday. And I have a guest joining me. I'm super excited to visit with Dallas Jenkins. Now, there's some people who instantly recognize that name. They're like, oh, I know that guy. There's others that are going, who is that guy? Mm -hmm. There is a show that has become a huge, monstrous hit. It's based on the New Testament. It's called The Chosen. And that show is put together by Dallas Jenkins. We're going to chat with him about that show and much, much more coming up in just a bit. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your partner has been bugging you about going on a weight loss journey together, let them know this. Researchers from the University of Connecticut say they have found that dieting as a couple does not have a positive influence on the amount of weight one can expect to lose. In fact... They didn't find any social influence at all between couples when it came to factors like self-control or grit, the capacity to persevere towards long-term goals, both of which have been linked to better weight loss and weight maintenance outcomes, end quote. Now my part, I disagree. Because when my beautiful bride and I go on diets together... That's just it. When you're working together, there's there's not the junk food in the house. The other (laughs) one isn't in theory, convincing the other one to go out to restaurants every day. So I don't know what they were looking at, but they're saying that it doesn't really make a difference. I think... I disagree completely. To each their own. I'll just say that. I didn't do a study on it. I just know in our life, when we're on a diet and Heidi bakes me a cake, I'm like, well, that's not going to help. <laughs> right. I mean, when, when we're on a diet and we're on the same page yeah, together, we exactly. do very well. But if yeah. only one of us is trying, yeah. it fails instantly. And then instantly. the other one's constantly ordering pizza. <laughs> I'm like, hey, exactly. What do you think? <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at Genesis Gold IRA. IRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that Bobby, the world's oldest known dog, passed away at age 31? 31. Guinness world record holder Bobby lived with his human family in a rural village in Portugal. I wonder what they away. fed that dog. Well, the purebred Raffiero de Antesino, I don't know I what that is. I have no idea what that uh, is. A farm and watchdog breed known for its confidence and calm demeanor, lived at the home, uh, the same home his entire life, where he ate an all-natural diet and lived an anxiety-free life. Guinness says Bobby was born May 11th, 1992. So 31-year-old puppy dog. That's crazy. That is, that is very, very cool, though. So I, I love that that's even possible. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. I'm going to ask Heidi first before I read this. Do you like John Cleese? I <laughs> love John Cleese. Uh, I already knew the answer to that. He's not worried about getting canceled. The Monty Python No, uh, he's not. Star That's another that, reason I love John Cleese. Yeah, they weren't. Uh, there's a trend to boycott people with controversial opinions. And he says that he doesn't like that. He says it, it, it's uh, more uh, literal-minded. Yeah. So it's become harder to be funny. Exactly. And, it is stifling And he to says comedy. he's just too old to care, really. 
Good for him. They asked if uh, most of the stuff that he had written, his famous lines back in the day, could oh. that be? He said, that's a good question. And that cancel culture makes it tough to be funny or intellectually yep. interesting. He's uh, recently turned 84. And he said at this point, he's just too old and he's not bothered at all about getting canceled. And good fresh for him. from the Horse Wrangler film, Ride On, Jackie Chan has lined up an action comedy flick centered on baby pandas. The 69-year-old is set to star in Panda Plan. So I'm not sure what that is, but apparently... I have no idea. He's also working on Kung Fu Panda 4, which that sounds uh, like okay. you know, more Jackie Chan to me. But uh, again, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what the other one is too. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A study found that alcohol works as an antidepressant. Where did I thought you do, it was a depressant. Where did you do this study? I'm yeah. just wondering. Because I think that's the opposite I've of what I've always heard the exact opposite. Life. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh, no, hey, if you're depressed, just have some booze, according yeah. to this study. Sponsored by Guinness. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking this, this. there's got to be some sort of tie-in to that. And a Japanese handyman has invented a foldable electric guitar for traveling. Yuji Shimano fold-up guitar comes with a velvet-textured briefcase featuring a built-in speaker and amplifier right in the case, huh. which means your entire basic guitar setup can be carried in one case. While the case, uh, while so inside of the case, rather, the neck of the guitar is concealed behind its body, the guitar strings are loose, he says his design makes it easier for players to make music when they're on the move. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if it sounds just as good as... It does, as a matter of fact. Once they've got it all put together, they tighten up everything and they make sure that it all sounds good. So that's like the first thing they do is they tune it, you know, so you don't just flip it open and it's ready. You got you to gotta get it all ready to go. But then once you've done that... It's pretty much exactly the same as a regular well, guitar. that is fascinating. Yeah, that is. I think it's kind of cool. And I've got one last thing that I'm going to get to here. Scientists say they've made a tremendously exciting breakthrough in treating prostate cancer. One in eight men will be diagnosed with the disease, which can resist existing treatments. But in clinical trials, research showed that blocking the signals that prostate cancer used to hijack white blood cells can actually make advanced tumors respond to the treatment, shrinking them or halting their growth. Research was led by the Institute of Cancer Research in London. They described it as a major scientific advancement, and they suggest we have an entirely new way to treat prostate cancer on the horizon. Wow. That is very cool. I love that. I've got all that information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today, Dallas Jenkins, is the creator of The Chosen. And this is on the CW Sunday nights, but it didn't start out as a TV show on a channel. It started out as a crowdsourced, bootstrapped project, and the trajectory has been amazing. Dallas, tell us a little more about this. Yeah, uh, it was actually birthed from failure. I got a chance to kind of fulfill my dream working with some big Hollywood producers at a movie that was released in theaters nationwide back in 2017 and it totally bombed at the box office and i was left with little to no future and uh while i was kind of licking my wounds i i dusted off a, a short film script that i had written a couple years before but put on the shelf because of my hollywood movie and uh, it was about the birth of christ from the perspective of the shepherds uh, i had written it 
potentially for my church's Christmas Eve service. And so I filmed this short film on my friend's farm in Illinois, 20 minutes from my house. And uh, my church was all excited about it. And and that was all it was going to intended to be. But while I was doing it, I had the idea for a show about Jesus. There's been movies, there's been miniseries, but there's never been a multi-season show that covers this story, a historical drama where you follow the characters episode to episode, season to season. You can get into the context, the historical context, the cultural context, the human context that we often miss when we put Jesus on stained glass windows or or the disciples as statues or in a religious movie or miniseries where he's a, a, a white guy walking around speaking in King James English. And so that was my idea. But I, of course, you know, no one was lining up around the block to do this. So what I did was we put the, the short film out on social media. It ended up going viral. And at the end of the short film, I said, if you want an opportunity to invest in this for us to be able to do season one, we're not financed by a big studio or network. So you're going to have to help us do it. Well, uh, 16,000 people from around the world crowdfunded $10 million, shattering the all-time crowdfunding record, and that allowed us to do season one. And uh, as I talk to you now from Los Angeles, where I just completed the post-production of the first four episodes of season four, the rest is history. So Dallas, one of the things that I've noticed, it's easier to find The Chosen because I can find it now on a bunch of different streaming platforms. Before, I had to go to a specific app to find it. But now that it's more readily available, because you guys are so successful, does that make it easier or does that make it more stressful for you guys to get it right? Uh, Neither. I genuinely developed a superpower after my movie bombed years ago where I truly got to a place in my life where I no longer cared about criticism or praise, where all I can do is provide five loaves and two fish, which is the famous Bible story where Jesus multiplied the loaves and fish and fed 5,000 people. Well, the boy who provided the loaves and fish did not feed 5,000. He just did his part. All I'm focused on is making the best loaves and fish that I can. The multiplication is not up to me. And, And if I ever get to the place where I'm writing or directing and I'm thinking about how many people are watching it or how many people may watch it or what criticism I might get or what praise I might get, it will cripple me and it will cripple the show. And I can't let that happen. And so Um, My focus is just on making the best show that I can. I want to make sure that I never violate the character and intentions of Jesus in the Gospels. I want to do everything I can to please God and my wife. Anyone outside of that is not my, my concern. I love that. Now, much of The Chosen is directly from the Bible, but they didn't write everything down. So there's some lines where you've got to say, okay, I think Jesus might have said this, or John or Peter might have said this. Is it difficult to figure out what they might have said? Absolutely. I mean, and that's the biggest challenge because you never want to get that wrong. You don't, some of the things that we have in the show aren't factual, meaning that we don't know for sure if they happened. They must always be plausible. That's our number one operating principle. Is this plausible from a cultural perspective, a historical perspective, a spiritual perspective? And there's always going to be some disagreement, of course, but we have a, a consulting group, a biblical consulting group to make sure that we're not going outside of the bounds of scripture, the character and intentions. But yeah, that that, that is difficult. But at the same time, when you do realize that these were human beings, and I know that sounds obvious, but it hasn't always been obvious. We've sometimes let our religion, sometimes let our portrayals, our stained glass windows, our statues, maybe the fact that it's uh, 2,000 years ago, uh, get in the way of re- of realizing that these were human beings. And that ultimately, uh, when you realize that and then you portray it uh, what, plausibly, um, it actually takes the Bible stories and, and makes them even more engaging and more uh, more life-giving. And that when you go back and read the Bible, it, 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 it comes to life perhaps in a way that it didn't before. We're not a replacement for Scripture. We never we, 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 we make that very clear. But, but perhaps we can uh, be a supplement to it. I love that. Dallas, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me on. Again, our guest has been Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen. You can catch that on The CW Sunday Nights. I've got a link to more information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are now more mobile phones with active plans than there are humans on Earth. How crazy is that?
Well, that's bizarre. That Why would there bizarre. be more phones well, than humans? Some people have multiple phones, well, honey. That is ridiculous. You've got like six burner phones of your own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't? I okay. do not. All right. Fun not fact anymore. for you, Heidi. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? King Tut was buried with 145 pairs of underwear. Oh, that seems excessive. Yeah, a little bit. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? According to a study, wealthy people are more likely to believe that greed is justified, beneficial, and morally defensible. Well, of course they would. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? According to a study, needles hurt less if you watch them being administered rather than looking away. I, yeah, I disagree, kind of backwards but okay. to me, but according to this. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The world average annual egg consumption per capita is 230. So we eat 230 eggs a year each. Hmm. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the Western world, people move on average every seven years. We've got them beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All we right. do. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Heidi, question for you. The average household loses three of these every year. What are they? I don't think we've lost any of these in a while. When our kids lived at home, we lost them all the time. Um, Forks. Uh, close. Spoons. Okay. Yeah. I remember when our kids were moving, in, both of them, by the way, our son and our daughter, were cleaning out the room. I'm like, why do you have 97 <laughs> spoons under your bed? I'm like, what is this all about? It was just silverware in general. It, it doesn't was... make any sense to me. Yeah. Like, put it away when you're done. I just, <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A man accessing his safety deposit box at a New York business ended up locked in a vault for over 10 hours. Oh, my gosh. New York Fire Department said the man was in the vault in the basement of the World Diamond Tower when an employee, unaware of his presence, oh closed my gosh. the door. Oh, my gosh. Firefighters were called to the scene and were able to communicate with the man through a security camera and a phone. They determined the vault was on a timer lock and could not be opened by oh, employees. No. <laughs> Firefighters attempted to cut through the concrete wall but stopped because they feared they would put the man at risk of injury. So they decided to just wait for the timer to automatically open the lock at 6.15 a.m. Oh, The newly man. freed man was examined at the scene before being sent home. And I'll bet he's gonna probably get a little something, something out of that. Deal. Oh yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be a little hours. more in his safe deposit box. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they not shout or ask somehow if there's anybody right in before there? you close it? I bet there's gonna be some sort of checklist. That There'll gets, be a protocol. Yeah, now. ten yeah, hours sure. locked in a vault. Holy cow! Yeah. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. 83-year-old Chuck Norris will be co-starring with Vanilla Ice in a film, call, a film called Zombie Plane. Okay. I love everything about this so far. <laughs> but as soon as this word hit the internet, the internet uh, all of a sudden had a lot of fun lines to go with this. Uh, like this, Chuck Norris once threw a grenade and killed 50 zombies. Then the grenade went off. <laughs> when zombie ap apocalypse starts, Chuck Norris doesn't try to survive. The zombies do. <laughs> when Chuck Norris gets bitten by zombies, Chuck Norris doesn't turn into a zombie. The zombie turns into Chuck Norris. <laughs> there will never be a zombie apocalypse because when Chuck Norris bites zombies, they turn back into humans. <laughs> Um, man uses machine to defy the laws of gravity to fly, but Chuck Norris flies because gravity dares not defy him. <laughs> uh, when Chuck Norris was five, he threw a paper airplane. It just landed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one, Chuck Norris cannot be tracked on radar. If he appears, it's too late. You're already dead. 
<laughs> you so. gotta love Chuck Norris. Oh yeah, and, and I, I'm a, really looking forward to seeing Zombie Plane. I have no idea what it is, but Chuck Norris and Vanilla Ice. Sign me Sounds up. like a winner. Yeah. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Quote today is from Bob Hope, who said, I grew up with six brothers. That's how I learned to dance, waiting for the bathroom. <laughs> oh. I could go for that. Yeah, you uh, grew up in a big family. I did. I did not. I didn't have to deal with any of yeah, that. I had uh, three sisters and two brothers and uh, two parents. And uh, for a while, we had a grandmother living with us as well. Bathroom was always it busy. Was, it was always busy. Yes, it was. <laughs> So there you go. Quote of the day from Bob Hope, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It's great news. Amazing news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. A wonderful story from South Carolina where a miraculous rescue happened. A two-year-old was found safe by a hunter. In a heartwarming turn of events, a two-year-old girl who had gone missing was miraculously found safe and sound after an intensive search effort. The young child had not been seen since about 3 p.m. And then she was uh, nestled beside her mother at the time, but was reported missing later that day. Uh, what was following a remarkable chain of events led to her safe rescue, by the way. Around 6 p.m., the situation took a hopeful turn when a deer hunter in the area heard the cries of the missing child. Mm. Reacting swiftly, the hunter placed an emergency call to the 911, alerting authorities the child's location. The operator sprang into action, utilizing advanced mapping technology to pinpoint the coordinates provided by the hunter. This crucial information was then swiftly transmitted to a South Carolina Law Enforcement Division helicopter and the uh, county's dedicated first responders who were already en route. With this location in hand, a search team was quickly dispatched to the wooded area, situated nearly a mile from the child's home. Wow. The tireless efforts of these responders ultimately led to a heartwarming and miraculous reunion. The hunter and the missing two-year-old were found safe and unharmed in the dense forest. The child was carefully transported to a waiting sheriff's office vehicle before being swiftly taken to the Newberry County EMS ambulance. Despite her harrowing experience, she was found to be surprisingly in good shape. Her only complaint was she was a little tired, a little thirsty, and un un understandably a little bit afraid. So... I cannot imagine how terrifying that must have been for her family. Oh, yeah. I, again, feel very fortunate that we never had anything like this oh, happen. We, I, there was one night we had a scare, oh, and, yeah. and I just and I, our daughter, I couldn't even have imagined. Our daughter was sleeping in her closet. Right. And we were looking but we couldn't all find, Yeah, it was I the I mean, the smoke thing. alarm was going off. Yeah. It didn't wake her up. Yeah, the, it was the craziest thing oh, ever. Oh, gosh. And then we finally found her, and she was sleeping. We're like, why were you in your closet? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.